Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing. This unboxing is from Cat Eared Diamond Painting. And I, this is my first Cat Eared Diamond Painting. The main reason I got this is because it's a square crystal rhinestone. And when I saw it, I was like, I have to try it. I don't know, I have to try it. <laughs> okay, so extra boat here. I was like, where's the rest of the... <laughs> up, 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 something fell, something fell. Okay. Okay, okay, so there's a little macaroon here. Oh, and then there's looks like it's there's some wax in there, and the wax looks like it's already open, so there's no plastic all over it. There. That's why the that's separate. So now I feel like if things are just gonna fly out of this thing. <laughs> And it looks like there's the diamond painting pen. It's one of the clear sparkly ones with a three placer and then a purple squishy. I think it's the first time I've gotten a diamond painting kit that didn't have an outer plastic over it or some sort of thing. And that's why things just fell out of the box. So, ooh, look at that. Crystal rhinestones. Eee. Square crystal rhinestones because squares are my favorite shape and for diamond painting, followed by crystal rhinestones. So if my one and two combine, does that make it become my new favorite? I don't know, we will see. So here it is. Here is the image here. It's cat-eared. It's on, it just says crystal flower here, but on the website it says it is floral fantasy. And it says it's licensed to by the artist Ricardo Chavez Mendez. So yeah. And on and on the site it's $28.90. Um I did pay I did buy this directly on their website, and there's a 10% off coupon on their website, so I paid like 26 26 something. It's also available on Amazon, which is $28.99, but there is no 10% off coupon. So I just bought it on, on their website because it was cheaper. You have to have strategy. It does come from China if you buy it on their website. Well, I'm guessing the one from Amazon, it says Prime, so, and it says I would be able to get it in two days based off of what I see. So if you want it right away, Amazon. If you're like me and those two dollars, <laughs> the three dollars makes a difference. Or, you know, have so many diamond paintings that I'm like, I could wait. I, I got this from the site. So the canvas actually kind of reminds me of Dreamer Designs feel of it. But let me see. No, it, it's, it's, it's a little bit different than the Dreamer Designs one just because it doesn't flake. Which I think is a plus. So it laid flat pretty well. It does have the scalloped edges. And there are 30 colors in this one. And it has my favorite legend, one, two, three, A, B, C. My favorite, like I said, my favorite legend here. And let's look at the drill field. Looks nice enough, I think. Nothing is screaming at me. Okay, this might drive me a little bonkers, but they're they're different. B and 8 are both in there, and they're both the red color or pink color. I don't know. It could be pink. It could be red. But they look different enough that I think that you won't have a problem. But yeah, B and 8. But yeah, no, it looks like I can't see anything that would hinder me from being able to read this one. So, let's look at the drills here. It does look like they're in individual bags. And it does come with an inventory sheet. I'm not sure what that means. I'm guessing it's in some sort of other language. Crystal flower, 
I kind of wish it was just one straight line, so then I'd be able to easily put this in my Zyron sticker maker, but pray to be not. So, and let's look at... They look like they're in order. I kind of don't want to mess with it. So, let's look at a couple of them. So... There's some yellow. They're in order. That's why I'm like, I don't want to mess with it. It looks like it's in order. Here's a nice red one here. Let's randomly pick. Like, I, random means I picked another red one. <laughs> so, just put my hand in there. What is this? Purple. Looks like a nice deep purple. The drills actually look pretty, pretty decent. So yeah, this should be, I, I, I think, should be entertaining to do. So so look out, well, you would have already seen it because you're not going to see the, you're not going to see this video until this diamond painting is finished. So wait, yeah, where is my measuring? So at $26, this is probably the most I've ever spent on a 30 by 40 diamond painting. So I hope, I hope it lives up to all my hopes and dreams. <laughs> I hope that this is going to be awesome because I had to buy it because I wanted to try out the square rhinestones. So this is 40 by 30. So it's true to size. And like I said, I hope this lives up to my, all my hopes because yeah. Like I said, I spent $26 on it. That's the most I've ever spent on a 30 by 40. I've spent more, I've, I've spent about that amount on 40 by 50s, but not really 30 by 40s. So like I said, I hope it, it lives up to my expectations. So I will go work on this. You'll probably see this in the kidding up before this video. And hopefully I'll show you the finish at the end. See you later. So I'm back and this one is done. So this is called Dyma Dynamic Floral Fantasy by Ricardo Chavez Mendez. I got it from Cat Eared for $26.01. And that was after a 10% off coupon that they have on their website. It's a 30 by, and, it, and FYI, it took 15 days to get to me and it was shipped from China. So pretty, pretty quick. I just saw a random drill on my table so I had to throw it away. Um, so this was a full drill with poured glue, 30 colors, and these are crystal rhinestone squares. I don't have a category for crystal rhinestone squares, so that's how I had to write it. There, there was a DMC code, and I thought the rendering was fine, the symbols were fine, the stick was fine, the canvas was good. I thought the drills were very good, but there was a lot of trash, like a lot of trash. And there was, the gapping was actually really good for squares. So I was happy with that. So it took me five days to complete over 14 hours and 23 minutes. So I didn't really have any comments because I don't, there was nothing that just popped out to me that I had to write it down. So that's why no comments. So here it is. I think it's very pretty. I think it's kind of almost too blingy. It's like bam, bling, 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 more bling, lots of bling. It's it's very, very blingy. I think this kind of reminds me of the first time I did a crystal rhinestone where I was like looking at it and I was like, I don't know, it's too blingy. Is that something that I like? And I think I'm, I kind of feel this the same way just when I'm like, wow, it's super blingy. Like I had this hanging from my door, which is where I have my finishes finish. After I finish something during the week and, and before I record this video, I have it hanging on my door and then I, and my door, when it gets the light on it, it's just like, bam, bling. It's, it's very, very blingy. Like it's so like, like, if you've never done a full crystal rhinestone, they are super blingy. <laughs> I'm like, just keep saying blingy. But no, it's like, it's it looks very jeweled, like the way it is. So, so I'm, it's, I think the last, yeah. So, 
So I'm, I'm just looking at this and I'm like, wow, look at all the color. It's kind of so much color in one picture, but it might just be the picture and not necessarily the the drill, the, the diamond painting. But I have to say it's, this was very good quality squares. Like it, when you're able to put squares down and you're doing this and it's nice and smooth, there's no popping. And in the whole scope of things, I thought like, there is very minimal gapping. But I also do, did notice there is gapping, but I feel like with the rhinestones, it's not as noticeable. So I think that's a plus for the rhinestones. Or it could have just been, this was just really good quality drills. So the, so the one thing I noticed when I had a lot of trash, I didn't, I don't save my trash to show it to you, but I, every time I poured some drills out on my tray, I'd have to shake it and then I'd have to go with my trash container and just like systematically throw out any of the trash. And the main trash on this diamond painting were, were the drills that are concave. And I noticed that more on resin drills where the drills are concave so it's not flat on the bottom and it's it's like this at the bottom and you can't really use them because it doesn't on regular drills when regular like not crystal rhinestone drills you can't really use the concave drills because there's not enough surface to actually stick it to the glue so it will fall off eventually while on the crystal rhinestones the ones that are concave it's more noticeable in the color because the plastic on crystal rhinestones are clear so you that's why they have a silver backing so that you can't see through and see the the um you can't see the pattern on the back. So they need to have the silver covering so that you can't see the background. But since if they're concave like that, the silver backing is much closer to the top of the drill and you can see it. I'm hoping, this is the one that I had the most drills. So I'm hoping I'll be able to find one. That's obvious. Nope. I might have systematically picked out these ones. Let me see. So I'm like trying to find ones that have a lot of drills and hopefully I haven't picked through it already and you'll be able to see an example. Nope. But no, they're they're really beautiful, but the the ones that are concave you you can tell the the one good thing is because of the crystal rhinestones the concave ones are more obvious than in regular drills so yeah no see the thing is when i pour it in i i systematically just take them out so that you can't you can't find it but the drills were really good quality i have to say like really good quality the only thing was the the ones that were concave that the drills just look lighter in color because the silvering was showing up closer and yeah i wish i could give you an example but i'm just let's try one more color <laughs> let's try one more color and see if i find ones that I didn't pick out already. Oh, okay. I found one. If it will focus. So I'm not sure if you can tell, but compared this one this drill, yeah, I don't know if you can tell. This drill compared to there has like a different pattern to it. And that's because it's not flat. And the, see, I don't know if you can tell if it will focus. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, like it's not flat on the back there. So if it will focus, But yeah, if it'll focus, ever.
So I don't, yeah, you can tell it's not flat on the back there. And that was the main trash. And there was a lot of them like that. So, and, and it's more noticeable, which is a good thing on the rhinestones so that you don't have to guess whether it's that way. Regular drills, it's not as obvious until you're trying to place it on, a, on the canvas and you're like, why isn't it sticking? And then you're like, oh, because there's no back to it. So, so yeah, that was the main issue with this. Otherwise, this was such a pleasure to work on. The drills were awesome. The gapping was very minimal and yeah. And that's how I feel like all diamond painting should be. And even, even if there was gapping, I feel like rhinestones hide it a little bit more because it's just so blingy that you... So, okay, so the main reason usually in regular diamond paintings you can see the gapping is glue is shiny. So when you have the drills on it, you can kind of see the shine of the glue if it's not completely covered. But this rhinestone is so shiny already by itself that you can't even see the shine of the glue in the background. <laughs> but but yeah, no, I, I highly enjoyed this one. I hope they come out with other pictures. And I hope they I hope the <laughs> the square rhinestones get cheaper. Um and yeah, I do have another square rhinestone from a different company, which I have to do, um, but I was going to, I already have it kitted up and I kitted it up at the same time as this one, but I was going to take a little break from the square rhinestones because this is, this one and my other one are the only square rhinestone diamond paintings I have. So I didn't want to just like do them both <laughs> at the same time and run out of square rhinestones. But yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this one. It's, it's super bright. Like I'm just telling you, it's, super blingy so it's like a little bit blinding diamond painting it sometimes but it was like I said lots of fun I yeah these square rhinestones I, I'll have to see how my second one goes and but yeah this might this might be my second favorite type after the regular squares <laughs> or I don't know but but yeah I'm hoping square rhinestones will be a thing and they'll be more prevalent and become cheaper because <laughs> price matters to me but that is all i have for today so thank you very much for watching and happy diamond painting bye